Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to change button size in Shopify. Before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you change your button size in Shopify? Well, in this case, it's actually pretty easy here. I'll be showing you the easiest way here. And if you want to change your code, I'll be showing you how to do that as well. So in this case, first things first, go to Shopify.com and you want to log in into your account. Now, in this case, for you to change or customize your button size, because by default, you won't have that option. All we need to do is we need to add a CSS section on our website. Now, in this case, I will be using the following uh, section, which in this case is going to be a style tag here. So just to give you some explanation here, what it actually does is uh, currently it is enclosed by a style tag here, which is being used, which is by default being used by or being called by CSS or cascading sheets. Now, in this case, uh, as you can see, it's now calling media. So it means that whenever your screen or someone's screen that is viewing the current website is in the following uh, pixel. So usually um, the common uh, screens right now is around uh, 1280 pixels. So it means that as long as the minimum, uh, minimum screen size of the viewer is actually 1200 pixels, they will be showing the following uh, changes, which in this case, we are modifying the actual width of the button. Now, in this case, the button here is actually the default or the most frequent um, tabs or the most frequent uh, uh, classes. So in this case, the most frequent classes that are being used or are, be are used for your buttons, especially on the product page, which in this case, I'll be showing you later on. But in this case, later on, I'll be showing you how to find exactly the class if you want to change another button on a different page of yours. Now, in this case, the first thing that I could show you here is via the actual website itself. So in this case, let's go ahead and copy this section here. From here, you want to click on customize on your teams. And from here, we want to switch over to our product page here. Go to default product here. Now, what we need to do is we need to uh, basically look on the changes they want. So for example, I want to change this one. So there's actually two ways on this first way that I'm, I'm showing you right now. So it's first is via the team settings. Now, the team settings, you want to go to custom CSS and you just want to copy the uh, section that we just uh, just copied or I just shown you. So you can see the button itself uh, or the size of the button has now changed. Now, there are two formats that you could use here. You could use a percentage for the button or you could use pixels for this one. So since I indicated 50% here, it's going to reduce the button size by 50%. But if you use pixel here, so for example, I'm going to use maybe 400 first, and I want to indicate that it is pixels. Now it's going to update itself, and it's now in 400 pixels. Now in this case, if I want if I want to make this longer, let's go ahead and choose 700, and it should update itself automatically. Now in this case, if you want to make this shorter, you could go ahead and make this like for some 100 pixel, and it will be a lot uh, smaller now. But yeah, so in this case, if you want to change that, you can go ahead and use the following code here. Now, another way for you to change your the size of your button here is in the other section. Because in, in the team settings, this actually applies the whole custom CSS on the whole um, team or in the whole web page that you have right now. What if you want, for example, you want to only change it on a specific section here. You don't want to affect other buttons that is already existing on your page. So in this case, you want to go to the content or the uh, content holder of your section here. Typically, it's going to be product information here if you're, if you're going to add this into your product page. But then again, if you're like, for example, you have a section for the products, make sure to, to select that uh, instead. Now, each section here has their own properties at the right side. So when you go to the very bottom, you have the same thing. You have custom CSS as well. So in this case, you want to paste the code or the script that I just uh, gave you. 
and from here that should apply the same thing but right now it's only applying that on the in that specific section and other pages or other sections in your page here will not be affected now in this case this is the first method that you can add your uh, changes another thing or other way for you to actually uh, view or uh, make your changes is through your uh, web uh, website's uh, back end but before that uh, for you to actually see the actual tag or the class that is being used for that button what you can do is you need to right click on this one or in any empty space that you see on your screen you want to choose inspect and by the way, I'm using Google Chrome for this one, but you can use any other uh, browser for this one, but it might be different or kind of different for you. So let's go and choose the selector here. I want to choose one of the buttons. So if it does, doesn't actually load up properly here, you could go ahead and uh, first select, select the section first, click on select here, click on this button. As you can see, we could basically see the actual product or the actual element or ID of that product. So you could go ahead and copy the ID itself if you want to. Now in this case, you can go to the right side here as well if you want to, as you can see this one. And uh, we should be able to, so this is the button here. So in this case, uh, this is the content for this one. Yeah, yeah, here. This is the content for this one, or in this case, you could copy the ID for it if you want to. Or even use the class product form here which is make it bigger so this one is going to be a product form product form submit button so in this case you could either copy the class or id so if you want to make changes now by the way it's kind of different here so in this case when you go to your script here so instead of using a dot now in this case instead of using dots you need to use like for example for ids you need to use a pound sign and just add a product id here and that same thing you should be able to apply your changes but yeah so with this what is the other way that i'm talking about so since we now know how to uh, get the id or the class here so let's go to our online store here our admin page go to teams as well click on the tree dot icon next to customize here and want to click on edit code now in here, what we need to do next is we need to go to the specific page they want to make the changes. Now, if you want to make the change to the whole website, we could go to the team liquid section here. And in this case, uh, what we need to do is we need to add this. So typically you could add this under the section for look for a tag, which in this case is going to be the uh, following, which is going to be uh, forward slash head. So you could go ahead and enter any of uh, the section here. Just paste the section that we just had right now. And that would actually apply the same thing. So in this case, you go and click on save here. Now, once it's actually saved, we could go ahead and go back into our store, click on customize. And from here, when we actually view our product page, we should now have an updated version for it. So in this case, as you can see, it is now in this size. But yeah, so that's how you change the button size on your Shopify store. And that's about it. So uh, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.